Hello, I'm Dionic, and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa. So there's no audio right now because we stopped it on, like, dead silence. Uh, oh, be quiet. Nobody's blaming her for anything. Huh? Was that? It's your fault for ticking... Sorry, for tricking her with that fake suicide note. That is true. Besides... Ogami didn't die for nothing. Except it should be red. Ukami didn't die for nothing! Cause, Cause that's facts. Anya, Anya. Was that? Was that? Was that? She reminded me. She reminded us. Now we aren't enemies destined to despise one another. But that we're friends and allies. Yeah, dude. He's right. Things turned out like this because of a misplaced hate for Ogre. No, no. We can't blame her, dude. Not one of us has the right to blame Hina. <laughs> it never mattered that Ogami was the mole. After all, our true enemy is you. Nanisa. Well, Nanisa. What the hell, man? What the freaking hell is this, man? You got that wrong, you know? This Academy Coliseum is you guys battling against each uh, yourselves. Yourselves? Each other. You guys are your own enemy. You're exactly right, Monokuma. Okay, dick. Yeah, Togami, someone gets it. This is a game of kings, or sorry, this is a game of king of the castle between us. A life or death game with only one spot atop the hill. You're exactly right about that. <laughs> and for that reason, I withdraw from the game. That is not what I expected. That is not what I expected. That is not what I expected. I had to stop and make sure that my audio was right. But that is not what I expected. Huh? Say what now? Gozenda. By making sacrificial lambs of every of themselves, Asahina and Ugami have rejected the very foundation of this game. Because of their action, everyone else has completely discarded their fear for the game. There's no reason for me to participate in a game that's lost its source of excitement. So, I'm withdrawing. I mean, it's kind of a shit reason, but it's still, it's still good. The, the hell? Seriously? Which leaves me with one last thing to look forward to. The brutal punishments you're going to get for thinking you can try to manipulate me. Because, yeah, he, he's like, he's like the 1%. He is the 1%. To Togabi, then you're... Don't get me wrong. I'm not acting out of some sickly sweet sense of sentimentality. I'm with you, my white knight. There's still a chance the puppet master is a steamy hot hunk of man meat. G guys. How about that? Can you still claim Ogumi died for nothing? You guys are lame. But that's cool. Whatever. I still haven't had my usual fun in games yet. Do, do you but, love it? Fun in games? <laughs> Enough about that epic failure of a mole. Let's keep the tradition going and get this party started. It's a moment you've all been waiting for. Punishment time. But the culprit's already dead as a doornail. Well, wait. Are you going to k kill me? Nah, I'm not gonna punish one of you guys 
just because the villain's already dead. I'm twice as straightened about the rules as the average bear. Stringent. Stringent? Stringent. I don't know. But still, uh, it'd be a waste not to make use of the very special punishment I prepared. So I've invited an equally special guest. Special guest? Let's get this ball rolling. It's punishment time. Oh, I didn't realize I cut him off, but whatever. He knows! He knew! No! A dozer master. Really? Heartbreaking. You just had to watch your AI friend get murdered. That no, no. Uh, oh crap, man! He's a tiny little ball now. Ah, all that hard work has kicked up an appetite. I should, I sure could go for a nice. Piping hot bowl of ramen. Ain't nothing like ramen after some hard manual labor. And just for the record, I'm a Shio ramen super 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 masochistic. Super ma ma I don't know. Ma I don't know. I mean, really. So, Tan Ko Tusi miso wheat. And color, aroma, and volume. He's, I, I know those are different kinds of uh, ramen, but I don't know the names. <laughs> I know it's risky, but I have to do it. I'm scared, but I'll, I'll be okay. It's kind of weird. When I remember I'm doing this for your sake, it gives me a burst of courage. I'm sure you're thinking, what's he talking about? He's just an AI, but it's true, honest. I'll be okay. I'm doing this for all of you, so I'm not afraid of anything. Alter Ego's words came rushing back to me, following up from the depths of my mind, flowing up, and filling me with a seething black anger that then erupted from my mouth. Okay, I thought you were gonna like run over and hit the teddy bear and then be like impaled. Ha How dare you? He was our friend. How dare you kill him? Whoa, you made a friend with a laptop? Isn't that kind of sad? Sadder than befriending a bouncing ball? Screw you! He wasn't just a laptop. He was Alter Ego, our friend. And you killed him. You one of those weirdos who thinks everything's got a soul? 
What do you call that? A animalism? A a animism? A animism? Animism? I don't know. <laughs> eh. Not that it matters either way. <laughs> I couldn't bear <laughs> to let him stick around any longer. Now at once he started poking around where he shouldn't have. <laughs> so, you had caught on. Hold your horses, girly. I was never not in the know. The fact that Fujisaki had messed around on that on the lappy and the fact that you guys decrypted the data on it. I saw through your every step of the way because there was a mole, right? I mean, I imagine. I imagine. Huh? So, you knew and were just keeping tabs on us. That data was, in a word, something like a gift from me to you. A reward you could only get if you managed to crack that hardcore encryption. So there. So there was never any problem with you guys digging through that. But trying to get on the school's network was talking, taking things too far. Ergo, crush. I want to help you guys somehow. Anything I can do to bring everyone closer to a way out of here, I want to do it. Alter Ego. He found... He fought for us. He found for us. He put his life on the line for our sakes. And in the end, died for it. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, boop, boop, boop. I'm feeling quite a bit better after that delicious punishment. <laughs> Meaningless death just gets me all giddy inside. Reminds me that things could be worse. No. His death wasn't meaningless. Everyone's deaths, our friends' deaths, just make us even stronger. One of these days, I'll, I'll make damn sure you understand exactly what I mean. Okay, dokey. E Negi super pissed. Negi super scary. Yeah. Well, it's about time I waltzed on out of here. But before I do that, I better read the rest. The rest? The rest? I ended last episode thinking that that was all of it. Mm. I haven't finished reading a Kami suicide note. Huh? What? Boop, 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 boop. Looks like that's got your attention. Here goes. Mighty, mighty. Courtesy of my fabulous voice. Asahina, there is one final thing I would like to share with you and the others. This information will likely prove valuable on your journey to uncovering the mysteries of this academy. Valuable information. Asahina, you. Through my numerous interactions with the Puppet Master while acting as his mole, a certain fact made itself apparent to me. The Puppet Master has done something to our bodies. It is highly probable that he... Whoa, whoa! That was a close one! Almost walked right into Spoilsville there! Consequently, this reading is over. I was wondering why he was giving us, uh, information that was valuable. Huh? Right in the middle of that? You want to know what comes next? The infer... In infuriate? You infuriate about the lack of conclusion? Infuriated! Infuriated about the lack of conclusion. That was the whole point. You just... D dinguses, it's revenge for you guys getting all retardedly buddy buddy. Don't say that. The least you could do is let me have her suicide note. Fat chance. What? Well, why? Ha ha ha! Too bad. So sad. Whoa. Stop the presses! The hell is this? None. 
What is it this time? There's something here at the end of her suicide note. And if you would, I have one final message for the Puppet Master. I'm not through with you, not even in death. Have my word. Retribution will be mine! Sakura's a badass! I mean, we knew that. What's all that about? She just being all a sore loser? She isn't through with him. Retribution. Ah, oh, whatevs. No point in fretting over the death. Yeah! It's about time I scoot it out. Scoot it on out. You guys should get a good night's sleep, too. And maybe consider reevaluating the way you look at life here. Are you really fine with not graduating? Can you honestly serve your attachment to the outside? Can you sever, rather, not serve. Can you honestly sever your out your attachment to the outside world? Uh, give it some real good thought. Those were Monokuma's last words before leaving the courtroom. But forget about him. What could Ugami have been talking about? I'm not 100% sure, actually. Her last message for us, the one she said could pr prove valuable in solving the school's mysteries. About the Puppet Master having done something to our bodies. I seem to recall Kirigiri saying something to that effect before. After Celeste's tri class trial, I think. What did you do? What did you do to my body? Yogi. What? No. Answer me. What did you do to my body? He's done something to our bodies. But the question is, what? What the heck has he done to us? Could he have maybe... Planted small bombs in each of our stomachs? It would be more likely that he would plant small bombs at the base of your spine, or at the base of your neck. Cause, cause then... It would, it would kill you. Where if we try to leave the school, it'll trip some kind of sensor and... Kaboom! I've seen stuff like that in games and movies before. We might not on a boat, but we are trapped. Gah! Even just thinking about it sends shivers down my spine. Enough. No more thinking about stuff like that. Ooh. Anywho, the class trial's over and Monokuma's run off. What do we need to do now, dude? Nanda. We need to go back upstairs. What else would we do? So, there's also a new area that's unlocked, so we're gonna be exploring that, probably. What? Uh. Right that. Let's blow this joint then, shall we? But... But... I... Uh... Mm. Asahina, she still feels responsible, doesn't she? <laughs> hmm. You're just a helpless fool. Stop being so full of yourself already. Mysteries thrown together by air-headed dolts like you are nothing to write home about. Arya. Trust me, that's nowhere near enough to get me killed. <sighs> You're one to talk, dude. It was Kiri and Negs who saved the day. Amari. Shut your mouth. I'm so sorry. Honest. <laughs> Enough with the apologies already. I haven't fallen so far from grace as to require a peasant's penance. Ah, uh, understood. I... I won't... do it again. What's this? Tell me, I ain't seeing this right. We didn't just transition into the White Knight slash... That's a, you know, route, did we? 
I I I don't know, maybe. <laughs> like I I I I would want better for her than than you know Togami anyway. No no, this can't be happening. Thou shall not interfere with me and my white knight's romance. What? What are you talking about? No freaking chance. <laughs> Who would ever fall for that four-eyed lemon? Four-eyed lemon? Oh man, is this Hina going to be murdered? I hope not. Just call it like I see it, you four-eyed lemon. Sounds like someone's asking to be thrown out with the trash. More ugly- <laughs> More ugliness, really. Do you have any friends? Do you have any friends? Hey, not fair. I want to get into an argument with my white knight, too. I want to have an insult war. I guess we're still a ways off from everyone getting along, huh? Not that I should be surprised. And so, with the Ugamis, Ugamis class trial behind us, we once again return to Hope's Academy. But there was still more to the story. Several hours later, we returned to our rooms and night fell. Ding dong, ding dong. <laughs> May I have your attention, please? The time is now 10 p.m. Nighttime is now in effect. The cafetorium is now off limits, and the door will be locked momentarily. And with that, I wish you all a good night. Sweet dreams. Night fell, and I drifted off to sleep. A deep deep sleep. But even then, the day refused to end. A voice. I could hear a voice. T- T- P- T- P- G- U- mm. Get up. N- huh? My consciousness still wrapped in a thick haze. I lifted my heavy eyelids. Gary, Gary? So you? Yes, it's me. Uh, uh. Gary, Gary. Once again, yes. Ah, okay. It's Gary, Gary. What? Huh? My body jerked forward, entirely on its own. What? Well, what are you doing here? I'm here to wake you up. You, you're here to wake me up. What about the lock? It wasn't set. That was careless of you. That is careless of you. You're in a rare locked room. Lock the door. Ow, my wrist. It wasn't. You're kidding. No. Honest, there's no need to freak out about every little thing. What time is it? So. Three in the morning, obviously. How's that obvious? Three in the morning? Why would Kirigiri come to wake me up at the time of at this time of night? Or morning, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna do this and then we're gonna end it probably. What what brings you here so late? Naikiku. I have a little favor to ask you. A favor? Of me? A favor? What do you need? You remember what Ugami said? At the end of her suicide note? Well, we didn't really get to the end end, but... I'm not through with you, not even in death. Have my word, retribution will be mine. I'd like to figure out what she meant by that. 
figure out what she meant. How? As soon as the words left my mouth, Kirigiri leaned forward, bringing her lips to my ear. The data processing room on the fourth floor. Huh? Done. I'll meet you there. And having said that, she started straight for the door. Huh? Her words looped again and again through my half-asleep mind. I do that all the time. The data processing room on the fourth floor. Wasn't that supposed to be locked? Oh, maybe it's unlocked now because, because of the death, right? Maybe she figured that out and that's, and this is our last hurrah or something, I don't know. I ambled through the school's empty late night hall, heading towards the fourth floor. And when I arrived at the data processing room, it, it sounds like the tempo of the music sped up. Kirigiri isn't here. Strange. She said she'd meet me here. Maybe she's already inside. I set my hand on the handle and pulled the door. Rattle, rattle. Absolutely nowhere. I tried several times, but... Rattle, rattle. Nope, it's definitely locked. In that case, what was she talking about? Why did she tell me to go here? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, 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 what you doing? Ah! You are forbidden from destroying locked doors. You know this. Um, I was just... You trying to say you haven't busted it up yet? Well... That's freaking obvious. No need to explain stuff anyone with a good pair of peepers could see. I just came here to give you a warning. You were shaking it pretty hard, you know. You still have a sleeve or something? No, not exactly. Anyway, it's three in the morning. I get sleepy too, you know. Quit screwing around and get your ass in bed. Is there a problem? What's with all the commotion? K Kiri Gary? Mm, you too? Go to bed, both of you. I'm exhausted after that class trial. I understand. Let's get going, Negi. Huh? You heard me. We're leaving. I really don't know what's going on right now. Never mind that. Let's go. Uh, all right. All right. Go on. Shoo. Shoo. Just as I was instructed, I followed Kirigiri back to the dormitory. And when we arrived... Done. Goodbye. Huh? Hold on a second. Hmm. What? What was that all about? You wake me up in the middle of the night, tell me to go to a locked room, show up late yourself, and then call it quits without actually having done anything. What if she was breaking into another door while he was, like, there talking to us? Maybe? Maybe that's what was happening. Maybe I was the distraction and she was going to destroy some stuff. What was the goal? The purpose of that? <sighs> Nothing. As usual, that was all I got for a response. Nor was I exactly surprised. Done. Good night, Nagi. N night. We said our good nights. And just as we were parting ways. Ikusaba Mukuro. Mukuro Ikusaba. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. <gasps> huh? Kirigiri whispered into my ear. Ikusaba Mukuro. Mukuro Isku. Ikusaba. 
16 student hidden in this academy. Oh! The, re the girl referred to as the super duper high school despair. Beware of Mukuru Isku blah blah blah. Okay, so next we're gonna have a run in with her, I imagine. Okay, to be continued. Continue? I, I used to play a game called Urguys that this kind of reminds me of every now and then. Uh, Urguys is one of the greatest games of all time, I might point out. And you should definitely go pick it up if you if you haven't heard. It. It's a game on the PlayStation. It was it was rare even when I owned a copy of it. So uh, so don't be surprised if you can't find it anywhere. But it, it's it's got Cloud and uh, Tifa and you know and and other characters as playable uh, fighting characters. So. Yeah, that random ad for random game that just popped into my head. Go check it out! Uh, obtain the present Altar Ball. Okay, you can find it on the present menu. On the present menu. Yes, I do want to save. Because I haven't saved in forever because I was using my cheap uh, emulator save for a very long time. Because that, that wasn't that long, actually. That, that was kind of a short class trial. Ikusaba Mukuro. Mukuru Ikusaba. I, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Since it's going to be said a lot. <gasps> huh? Ikusaba Mukuru. Mukuru. Ikusaba. <laughs> really? Are, are you, you're, you're, you're making me say it over and over and over again until I read it correctly. Sixteen student in, in this academy. The girl referred to as the super duper high school despair. Beware of Mukuru Ikusaba. Mukuru. Kirigiri warned me to beware of her. Just three days before that event. Three days before we came face to face with our next murder. Three days before that terrible crime was committed. If you want donuts, prepare for despair. I don't want donuts. Is that a hint? Did Asahita kill someone or did someone dress her up as uh, as someone and kill her? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Asahita is the only one that I know that wants donuts. Explicitly. Everyone kind of wants donuts. Everyone in the back of their mind is like, hmm, donuts... Don't it sound good right about now? But Asahina's the only one who would go out and get donuts and hopefully bring enough back for all of us. Uh, it was the morning after Ugami's trial, or class trial, and we were gathered in the cafetorium. <laughs> Let's begin our post-class trial recon. <laughs> not even a preference? Just get it, or not even a preface? Just getting straight to the point? That's breaking tradition, dude. <laughs> If you want to work with me, you'll refrain from meaningless banter. <sighs> it's amazing you can see us at all up there in your ivory tower. No, no. Up there in your ivory tower! That's just his way of showing he cares, dude. That's what I want to believe. That's what I want to believe. In any case, if you want to take the Puppet Master down, then you'll do as I say. I will, on the Togami name, exterminate the rats scurrying around this academy. And drag around its over flatant pride like a cow's guts. Will? You're pretty quiet, ain't you, Kawa? <laughs> Silent and pungent, like a <laughs> take. Dude, ah ha ha, shit, shit take woman. What? She's not responding. 
Whenever she talks, we get off track, so I told her not to open her mouth without my permission. Oh god, you guys are weirdos. What? Uh, if she doesn't open her mouth, she can't eat or drink. Not in, not my problem. No, not the no. And you're okay with that, Kawa? <sighs> it's amazing you can see him at all up there in his ivory tower. <sighs> Some way or another, we still ended up with a meaningless banter, didn't we? Oi. They dragged me into it. Jesus. At least they're funny now! Instead of, like, at each other's throats. But that ends here. From now on, I'm not letting you slow me down. It's recon time. Don't just move your mouths, move your bodies. At Togami's irrit ir irritated prodding, we began once again our exploration of the Academy. Okie dokie. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and end this here as soon as I can find my save button. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like, comment on what you think of the game so far, go check out the other videos I've done, and I will see you soon. No, 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 no,